The person that inspired me the most would be my mother. Um, she always gave back into the community. We're from Columbus, and um, she always taught me to do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. And the what in our community would be the result that I see after I give back in the community. Um, for example, I'm on a committee for Westchester Hospital, and the fundraising f was for um, iPads. And I just visited an older friend in the hospital, she's in her 80s, and she got such a kick out of using that iPad. So I actually got to see what the um, proceeds for the fundraiser went to. Uh, it's clearly my parents. Uh, the bottom line is, is that my dad in particular always taught you that you have two choices in life. One is to write the book, the other is to read the book. And if you get involved, you can help write the book. If you don't, you'll only read it. And so he lived his life that way and uh, led by example. And so I think that's the person who inspired us the most. Unlimited energy is probably more important to me than unlimited money because money can only buy a certain amount, but if you have unlimited energy, you can probably exponentially increase what that money would have been able to do. So I'm voting for the energy. I would rather have unlimited money because without resources, we always find that that's what hinders us from doing the work that we really want to do. A lot of times in the communities we serve, they lack the financial resources to have a scholarship fund to give kids incentive to go to school and want to learn more about school or go to trainings and different things like that to better themselves. So with funding, I feel like we could do a lot more and end that equity gap. Well, you know, obviously the, the energy to me is kind of what I would choose. Uh, I think, um, you know, being part of my great work experience and, and life, but also being part of my family and being able to spend time with my kids and have the energy to do stuff with them and hopefully in the near future do stuff with grandchildren and my wife in the future. So I would take energy over, over money. If you're a civic leader, or really in my opinion any type of leader, you really need to have a, at least some servant leadership mentality. Now in the civic leader capability, I think being a servant leader is incredibly important because you're probably doing it out of the goodness of your heart. So I think it also is very inspiring to others. It's passion, vision, and dedication. Um, if you have those three things and you give back to your community, uh, you will see the satisfaction that it results in. One of my biggest goals that I would be, I think, overly pleased um, before I leave this earth would start a college endowment fund. That's something I think is huge, it's needed, and I have realized through working with youth that incentives is the best way to get results and get buy-in into whatever you're trying to do. So with that kind of incentive, I believe more kids would be more prone to go to college to better themselves, and as we know, your income average goes up with the more education you get. So that's why I would think that would be one of the greatest gifts I could give leaving this earth. God is the most important thing in my life, and I, I fail at following the Lord's way as I fail at most things in my life from time to time. But I would love to see my children grow up and have the Lord instilled in them because of the way they saw me live my life. The goal that I have in my life is to hope that the new generation of younger um, people will get involved in the community. I'm on a lot of committees where people are my age or older, retired, and I would like to inspire the younger generation to get involved and give back to the community the way my mom inspired me to do the same thing. You know, leading by example, I think, is kind of uh, an important uh, thing. Something happened to me when I was a young um, professional. I was asked to do something that I was uncomfortable doing, and I think most people don't like to do things because they feel they're, they're afraid to fail. And by being put in that position where it's okay to fail and it's okay to learn from those mistakes really helped me understand that, you know, I need to do that to kind of the next generation of people that either work with me. Um, and I think by doing it and showing them that, hey, I had to go through this and I learned a lot and it's important to, to kind of fail but also learn from those mistakes, hopefully uh, persuades them to, to do something that they maybe are, are uncomfortable with.
I do that. I, I, I try to convince people to do things they may not want to do every day. Usually I do that through modeling the behavior. I don't ask people to do something I'm not willing to do myself. But then I think it's also communicating how it will benefit them. Altruistically, it's nice if we can do it just for the right reason, but I think each of us has to understand what the impact will be on ourselves. I think the movie that I would like to be in, and it would be uh, George Bailey, and It's a Wonderful Life. To me, it's the epitome of exactly what my father has tried to teach us, that if you do the right thing for the right reasons, treat others the way you want to be treated, that you will be the richest man in the world. All right. My, my favorite movie is Forrest Gump, and my favorite actor is Tom Hanks, so I'd have to be Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump.